Moving on uh, to the next session about rooftop and distributed solar in Chandigarh and Punjab and Haryana. Haryana. I'd like to invite our uh, esteemed panelists for this session. Uh, Mr. Hitain Pare, uh, Head Everest Solar from Everest Industries. Mr. Saurabh Solanki, GM Business Development from Amp Energy India. Uh, Ma'am Madhuri Sarkar, Senior Manager Marketing from Ampler Solar. Mr. Praveen Hande, Asia Marketing Manager from DuPont for Dual Dives. Mr. Akash Kapoor, Regional Manager North for Thermax Limited. Mr. Karthike Narayan Sharma, Head Growth and Strategy, Sunshine Energy. Mr. Sachin, uh, from, a Sales Manager from uh, Both Partner. And uh, we have Mr. Vikram Hans from Delta Power. May I uh, request uh, uh, the dignities to please uh, take your seats on the stage so that we can begin this uh, session on rooftop and distributed solar. Close to six years now. And ever since involved in solar, the uh, uh, headline is increasing and the uh, grey is increasing. <laughs> so it's really a turbulent and uh, competitive, uh, challenging market. So you really need to keep learning and learning. And uh, I'm going to make uh, most of the brilliant minds I have on the panel uh, so that all of us can benefit from this cumulative knowledge. And of course, uh, feel free to be uh, prompting our questions. Uh, I believe interaction is better rather than a one-way traffic. Uh, with this, I request my panelists to make a self-introduction. Last one. Uh, my name is Vikram Hans. Uh, uh, I run a company called Multi Overseas India Private Equipment called Brand is Delta Power. And uh, we've, you've been in this business for how many years? You said six. I've been in this business for actually 19 years. That's what I've lost. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, we, uh, we do sort of our PV uh, projects mainly, and uh, we've been around the, this area for quite some time. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sachin Sukhija. I'm representing Four Partner Energy, a company's Hyderabad based company, so formed in year 2010. So we are now in a installation below 175 megawatt plus. So we are working on RESCO projects majorly and FX2. So it's, uh, definitely it's a challenging market and opportunities are very high. So as uh, in previous session it was mentioned like we have achieved 30 megawatt in the last 9 years. Another as per target set, another 70 megawatt to achieve in the next 3 years. So good opportunities there as well as challenges are there. So let's really for that. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, please excuse my uh, voice. Have a bad throat. Uh, but I'm Maji Sarkar. I'm looking after marketing for a company called Ampler Solar. A lot of you might be aware of it. Uh, these gentlemen are actually quite scared me talking about the hair and green uh, because it's been. Uh, three plus years for me in the solar industry. Uh, Ampla sales, uh, one of the distributed uh, solar companies, uh, specializing in rooftop as well as open access uh, for commercial and industrial customers. But I'd also like to add that we are opening a new vertical for the residential segment uh, with a party brand name called Homescape Solar, uh, which is also very important for us to be present over here because we are going to be launching soon in Chandigarh and uh, also inviting a lot of EPC players to be our partners. Uh, let's take the discussion for you. Thank you. Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Karthike Sharma. I am representing Sancho Energy. We are an EPC company focused on both rooftop and open access solar. Good afternoon everyone. I am Akash Kapoor. I am representing Thermex Limited as their regional manager. We are a Pune based company and have got a presence of around 15 plus megawatt into the rooftop segment into the North region. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself is Saurabh Sulanki and I am representing a Canadian IPP company called Amp Energy and uh, we are operational in India since 2016 and within a short span of time we are close to 150 megawatt of operational assets across India, both open access as well as the rooftop projects and uh, recently we are now developing close to 300 megawatt of open access projects in, in UP, Haryana and Tamil Nadu. Thank you. 
Uh, hello again. Uh, so my name is Praveen and I already spoke about uh, uh, DuPont and what I do there. So one more small thing I may also like to add is that uh, uh, I've been in the renewable industry for the last 12 years, two years with DuPont uh, and the materials or modules. But before that I was studying at PC and PD uh, for both uh, solar as well as wind energy. Okay, top, top five uh, I think is and we have uh, one of the top uh, EPC players like Thermax. Uh, so my question is uh, to start with uh, uh, Praveenji from Dupont because I believe uh, Rooftop has been given a more uh, depth about module selection uh, because we are a large roofing uh, company so we understand uh, the metal roofs can tend to get very hot in the summers going to have some impact on performance of the back sheet and the overall module and the degradation. Uh, so before we go to the money guys, uh, I wanted to have some technology advice from Pramiji uh, for all of us. Yeah, thank you very much. So I'd like to start with uh, the question one of the gentlemen asked uh, Mohit about uh, Poly and Mono. Now this becomes very important uh, when you also talk about rooftop. Because from the technology perspective, <coughs> Uno also has a very high efficiency. Uh, and when you talk about rooftop and technology, I think Uno should be talked about because the efficiency helps in accommodating more wattage within the given space. So it also helps in terms of, uh, you know, we talked about heat, additional heat in rooftop. And uh, a technology like Uno has got uh, relatively lower uh, temperature coefficient. Of course, Poly is quickly catching up on that also now. Uh, but traditionally, it was a lower temperature coefficient, and if you do a PV system analysis, uh, one of the reasons why the generation is lesser or more, you know, the factor of temperature coefficient comes in. You know, 4 degrees, 0.4% uh, per every degree rise or reduction in the temperature. So, if you have a lower factor of temperature coefficient, then your generation is also higher. So two advantages, one, more wattage, and two, uh, because the temperatures are higher, mono may be a better thing. There may also be other technologies like N-type and all, uh, but these are like off the mark in terms of cost. So uh, from our market perspective or Indian market perspective, uh, these are two issues which need to be considered uh, from the technology thing. Uh, but again, from the quality side, you know, Sufficient. So, from the quality side, uh, as I was sharing, there are a couple of things which you need to take care of. One, the temperature is pretty high in rooftop, so the quality of materials matters, especially the back sheet side. Two, there is a pretty high degree, so there, there is a slightly higher difficulty in doing an OLM uh, because one, it's all you know at high roofs. Uh, many of them are uh, sheet roofs or factories. Uh, it's very difficult for people to go on a, a regular frequency to clean it. Uh, sometimes the roofs are not strong enough, so it's also riskier. Uh, and talking about risk, you also have one other uh, electrical shock risk there. Uh, especially when you talk about a uh, module placed on a slanted roof, metal roof. Uh, if there is a problem with the back sheet and if there is a crack, you are exposing the inner of the module to the roof. If you see in rooftops, the gap between the roof and the module is not very high. So a module is a system which has got a thousand uh, you know, volt DC or thousand fine volt, and we have seen a lot of fires. Some kind of a short roof is connected and uh, there are cases where fires have happened. So you need to take care of it. Maybe you know whatever uh, way the gaps or etc and quality of materials in any case. So in, when, it, when we talk about quality, material do uh, impact, it also impacts the safety and even technology comes in when you talk about you know, accommodating the commercial. Thank you. Since uh, AC on the rooftop, oh, sorry, AC on the rooftop, I want AC on the rooftop as long as I have it. And you all understand uh, the importance of that. Do you think that uh, backward quality technology could be for to start becoming more popular with the commercial and industrial uh, rooftops uh, catching up? 
See, micro inverter, just make sure that you get the SP, DC output at the end of the morning rather than you know, taking a DC cable across and uh, putting it to a uh, string inverter. Yeah, so your hazard doesn't come down. Because the issue of 1000 volt continues to be there till the, the micro inverter in the morning. Correct, but you know the risk is imagine that you have an electrical cable and the insulation peels off. That's the risk I'm comparing to. Imagine a module to be an electrical cable with a thousand uh, volt thing and the back sheet peels off. So that risk continues to be there. Sir, in case of uh, excuse me, in case of micro inverters, voltage still goes as high as thousand volts. I think it becomes less. The AC will not. The DC within the system is still there. That's a very short distance again, and it's the same. How? See, the risk again is not from the cables. I'm not. There may be risk. I'm not sure about that. Use a bad quality DC cable. There may be a risk. Not properly, you know, UV protected and thing. There. I'm not touching on that part. I'm just touching on the risk because the module, because your surface is pretty high. Model surface. And anything happening in the back is not visible also. So high voltage uh, uh, is taken care of by using uh, optimizers. Uh, I think somebody else has to answer that question beyond the... I'm just talking about the modules. Yes. Uh, from the AC side, the voltage comes down. So, yeah, so as far as uh, these optimizers for uh, micro inverters are concerned, uh, of course, as far as the risk part is covered, uh, concerned, uh, risk definitely goes uh, reduces as as uh, in compared to uh, having a high voltage DC system on the roof. But on a vis a vis, uh, the efficiency part also increases. But the availability as of now of a string inverters, uh, the, sorry, uh, these optimizers and uh, micro inverters is, is still a concern as of now. The string inverters, you have more service reliability because they have already established in India. Uh, companies like uh, Delta, SMA, Solus, all these players have spent a considerable time in India, have established a service reliability network. So, over a period of time now, that is a proven technology. You you uh, use string inverters, you uh, the service reliability and everything would be available. But when it comes to micro inverters, yes, they they that, that is a new technology which should be adopted. And uh, slowly and slowly, there are a couple of installations also happening with the micro inverters in. Uh, there are a couple of companies based out of Bangalore as well who are, uh, who are coming out with these uh, micro inverter solutions. But it's still for a developer or APC company to switch on to these uh, micro inverters or optimizers kind of solution would take some more time because ultimately we require a more service reliability, availability of product, then cost, and then ultimately it's the uh, leverage cost of energy at the end of the day for a developer which matters. So it has to, it will take another maybe uh, two years or uh, three years time uh, in order to have a micro inverter in a price range where it can compete with uh, with uh, with the uh, uh, string inverters. What is the key difference between uh, micro inverter and optimizer? I think that is going to take a longer. Yes, I would. Uh, I would but but see, recommend that you should invite solar. Fire or fire is that is a very big issue actually. No. I, See, we need to address. I, I think it's, it's so more than about the zoo sitting here. You will stand up now and talk more. Uh, I was uh, actually, I was actually about to. I would, uh, go ahead, uh, go I would strongly recommend you should invite uh, Solaris to your office. Uh, yeah. They could give you a very. They talk. Right about, they talk about their own benefits. You know, I want. They are the from industry the leaders. Managers. You know, actually, what is true. I mean, they will talk about their technology being the best. Somebody else will say there is the best. So we uh, from. You experienced people will get a right feedback. So we are told you like uh, from the yeah, point of view. It's an input for uh, the organizers that there should be a just like there is a debate of poly versus mono, there should also be an inverter debate on uh, string versus micro. <laughs> <laughs> there was a good presentation just uh, before this panel discussion. Uh, so, so this yeah. is what I like about this session is to write a presentation. Uh, but coming to uh, on the list of, uh, my next question is to Sanchor uh, Kartike. Uh, so congratulations on being the market leaders for textile. I was reading a report. Uh, as you would know, textile industry is going to be very challenging because they have obviously cloth and cotton uh, 
very easy to catch fire and they have probably done uh, you are confusing us, you are confusing us with some source no, no, such a version this is a big problem on Bridge to India because uh, they have told you. No, I'm pretty sure I read the report in some source. No, no. Okay, anyway, so with your experience of the one project, I'm issue more. Uh, how did you really convince a textile guy to allow a fire a potential uh, solar rooftop uh, on, on the factory? You can share the experience and what special design precautions were taken care of. See, uh, I think as far as uh, a fire hazard from a solar plant is concerned, I think the primary culprit, uh, sir already pointed out, is you know if you are using uh, bad quality bag sheets, then definitely it's a big hazard. Uh, the, the modules that we use uh, is generally, uh, you know, for, for, for particularly this particular uh, project. Use Canadian solar modules with federal back sheets. They are market proven. We have you know project running for almost four years, five years in Canadian solar on rooftops in similar conditions. And we do not have those issues. You know, no degradation, uh, you know, nothing uh, like that. And uh, the other thing is, uh, I think DC cables. The amount of DC cables that we use on the roof are the bigger threat in terms of uh, you know a fire creating a fire hazard on the roof. So we do a few things. <coughs> running positive and negative DC cables through separate top covered steel, uh, you know, uh, D, uh, cable trays, which kind of almost 99 percent rules out any chances of uh, you know short uh, short circuit happening on the roof. The other reasons why you know a fire could be there is because of use of substandard uh, protection measures in your system, in the kind of SPD that you're using and uh, so on. So those are also things that we you know make sure that we are you know IC compliant to the with kind of over design it because in the cost perspective protection doesn't really add a lot of cost to the project. So no harm ever over designing on the protection front. And of course you have to be very, very particular and you need to know the system uh, very deeply in order to know what is the kind of protection you need in a certain area. And then of course you we kind of a little over design it on the arching bit and uh, all as well. And when it comes to textiles and all right, uh, most of these guys where they want to put up their plants uh, are not generally, you know, active uh, uh, areas. They will not put it on their radar. <coughs> they will put it on top of the roof where production will be happening. Uh, they usually have very good segre segregation within the factory. So, and these days usually also have a lot of land to it. For example, Bilbara, uh, almost all factories have more land than they need. So, most of the rooftop plants that are coming up are actually ground rotated plants behind the meter in these areas. Uh, I have a question. By the way, I am from the Yorba Union Textile Sector. Fantastic. We are uh, used to this uh, solar rooftop only. As you said, it is in the process side only. Yeah. We are not uh, putting the plants in the warehouse, uh, etc. Where the fire hazards could be there. But I, as my uh, specific question was uh, that time also I asked, do you really have certain uh, fire hazards experiences or some uh, happenings where of actual one? Because talking about 1000 voltage here or talking about that this is this may not happen. But these things happen once in a year or so together. But they actually yeah, they are very bad. Very bad. So it doesn't happen and very, very few reported incidents of ah, reported incidents have to have some yeah, experience about it. In solar Something I want to add. So what we have done, uh, what Ampers has done in Tamil Nadu for Nitachi Apparel Park. Uh, is we did a, a group captive model where the plant was located slightly in the, within the same campus, slightly away in a, in a uh, ground bound, in a ground bound uh, structure, and the power was transferred to. Uh, so, so that actually, uh, you know, yeah, it mitigates the risk of a fire hazard in yes. the same factory. So, uh, you know, I. I a lot of other states, we might not be able to do a group captive structure because of the regulation and policy uh, issues. But I think if the state policy makers can, you know, start looking into this kind of a model in the other states also, I think that could be a great. Uh, great well, most of the textile factories are out of city and they have ample of uh, space available, yeah. and okay. that can be utilized for this captive generation. Yeah. That's true. So, okay. Yes, sir. Sir, definitely I could agree to the point that the solar industries have also so many years to do another exercise. I'm not going to be able to do this. 
So it will also cool because it's transferring the you know module to the you know heat to the water. You can use that as a hot water. It's a combination of solar thermal and solar thermal. You are optimizing the usage, but it's still in our in our future. It's not so commercial as such. Something like this is going on in the Yeah, it's actually. Is it basically after 38 degree generation comes down? To maintain that energy reserve, going on in the Correct. So, it has got both the right? One, yeah. by cooling the panel, your generation increases. Two, you utilize the heat to heat the water, which you may use it in some other purpose, so utility or something. There is some German funding which is going on. I guess you may be referring to that. I am not sure. Uh, next question is for the uh, energies. Uh, congratulations on a big announcement about the solar panel. What you share more details on uh, what kind of tariff range we offered on your customers <coughs> or how other customers in the reciprocity to this kind of uh, investment. Uh, and uh, typically, a uh, comparison between a rooftop kind of NCOE and a solar power kind of NCOE, especially for Korea. Yeah. 